Just getting ready to cross over into California. Just a wee little time frame there before we went into Oregon. Um, and uh, they do have quite a few inspection stations you right. have to go through. Yeah. That's different. Usually, than, yeah, usually the inspection stations will have flashing lights, and all trucks enter when the lights are flashing. Uh, I've noticed this in Texas also, but Nevada has those. Uh, there's not really a scale house, it's not like a way station. It's just usually some state troopers, three, four, however many, they're pulled over and just kind of inspecting the trucks. Um, they don't inspect everybody. So no. it says on the flashing um, sign, um, continue through unless you're directed to pull over to the side. Right. And we were directed. Yay, we're lucky. <laughs> so um, he had finished up with one another one, so I guess he was yeah. ready for somebody. So Yeah, we just came through just at the right time right so um it's a level three inspection mm -hmm. and uh pretty much that's just checking your logs yeah it's, it's paperwork basically paperwork. For level three um your uh, license they, they can do all you know level one they're just the same but uh fortunately it was just a level three for us right so uh we wanted to mention that and how you um navigate that situation um first off you you need to have all of your paperwork up to date right in order in your folder right um they're going to ask for well they're going to ask for your registration no matter what yes you always need that you always need your ifta paper um you always need your insurance information those are the things those three documents make sure those are always um in the at front, the front of your book and, yes yeah and also your most recent uh, dot inspection have that near the front actually well. we just handed him the book and he was yeah good this, with that. this one this is actually the first time anyone's ever done that usually they'll ask for individual pieces of paper you kind of mm -hmm. go through your book and pull them out which is one of the reasons i say kind of have those in the front because no matter what they ask for they're probably going to ask for those those are like every single time um something else to keep in mind if uh, uh you want to have to make sure that your hazmat section is marked uh, if you have to have a special permit for hazmat loads make sure it's up to date uh, or if you have alcohol uh, we've actually had that run before yes. uh, kentucky bourbon uh, take took it to california some states require it some states don't because they're going to look at your um bol yeah they're going to look at your bol what are you too, hauling? so they know what you're they're hauling. ask what you're hauling yeah uh, i think his first question was if we had any hazmat on board right which would have automatically been a red flag since we had no placards. Right. So um, that's you know, or your books out things like that. Yeah, right. or your books on your on you know right. on top of your paperwork. Um, so you've got to make sure. That's why it's important. Uh, you don't know when you're going to get called over. Right. Um, the other thing is too, they're going to check your, um, your daily logs. logs. So it's so important every day when you're on duty that you're doing your inspections. Mm -hmm every time because if you miss one they're going to go back for eight days is it right, they eight check days. eight days mm -hmm. um and what they'll do is uh this is the qualcomm so mm -hmm. um you, it removes yeah. you can just pop it out yeah it has a clip on the top if you pull the clip you may be able to see here the whole unit kind of, kind of just sits out and, and um it has a long cord yeah most of them the cable install now is long enough that you can hand it out the window yeah so you just hand um, it out the window and they will email it to themselves yeah. now before when i've gone in mm -hmm. uh we've actually had to email it yeah, to the them e they give you the email right. yeah yeah so or they can come on board and do it but right. um he was okay not coming on and penelope was such a deer yeah she's she was very quiet mm -hmm. she just sat over there very quietly and watched mm -hmm. um so um those are the things they're really going to be checking for right yeah so definitely like kathy said make sure you do your inspections every day yes both um, of you both sure, drivers yeah and make sure you know uh you're not 
rushing through them because they can see, if, you know, right. three to four minutes inspection. Um, they might actually ask you to get out of the truck and show them how you inspected the entire truck in three, in minutes, three or four they minutes. Wanna know. Right. That's... Yeah. <laughs> you, they, you prove them wrong. And they don't think funny. you can do that. But, um, <laughs> Um, also, it can be kind of suspicious for them if you do the exact same time every day. They might question, are you really inspecting anything or are right. you just logging the time? So, right. um, I mean, yeah, usually you get in the habit of doing something and it kind of takes you around the same time, but it shouldn't be on the dot every every time either. Um, and, you know, you, as you, if you find something wrong, make sure that you, you correct it. Right. If you notice that your windshield washer fluid is low, uh, might be a good time to add some if you don't have any next time you stop at a truck stop get some and put in there that's, a that's part of yeah that's actually part of the mm -hmm. uh, inspection if, if they do a level one or level two okay. they will have you spray the uh, windshield washer fluid and if right. it doesn't spray and you don't have any to add that's a violation you just right. you just fail yeah. I mean as simple as it is they I mean they're they're pretty strict about some of those things sometimes so um, but that was our little inspection. Mm -hmm. um, it went, went really well. Right. Now and they're going to give you a piece of paper at the end. Uh, we passed, so that was right. good. Yeah, and make sure, um, uh, not just inspections, but your logs. Make sure you haven't gone over your time. You shouldn't have any violations with that. That's the next thing. Um, fortunately, all of our logs passed. Our book was in order, so as Kathy just said, we got our little pa piece of paper back saying that we passed. Yes. Um, never take the officer's word for it. Look over that paper. They're human beings. They make mistakes. The most important thing on that paper is there's a section that says OOS for out of service. Yes. Make sure that is not checked. It, right. Even if they tell you you passed, you even if go. they tell you to go, if they're if it is marked OOS, you are out of service no matter what. Right. Um, you don't move the truck. Do not, yeah, do not move the truck. I mean, mm -hmm. they might have you pull over to the side or something out of the way, but mm -hmm. you're not leaving that facility until it's fixed. There was a guy in front of us, uh, parked up in yeah. front of us, and he was actually... He was uh, getting tires. Yeah, they had roadside service for him, so... Mm -hmm that can happen so you but, will have to fix whatever but, it is that they find yeah. wrong before and, you move you know if it's one of those things where they check the box by accident they didn't mean to you really passed and they accidentally yeah, put still little, that, that needs to be corrected before you mm -hmm. move so what you're going to do is you're going to now with landstar you're going going to email that into um roadside, roadside at landstar at landstar.com and, and you have 15 days yes. um it has to be resolved within 15 days though, so you don't want to wait Go ahead and send send the information, especially you know if you pass. If you don't pass, then they need to see where it was corrected. Yes, before you. Yeah, you they should. need to see the receipts and you know. Right. And once again, if you're out of service, the truck should not move until it's corrected and you have proof that it was corrected, and then you're free to go. And this is the same with FedEx. When we mm -hmm. work with FedEx, the same thing. Yeah. Uh, you'll you'll may I think you send it to the safety department. Yeah. Uh, with FedEx, so. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know what they're doing in their training now. When we went through training, uh, it was back when it was still at the facility. You actually went up to the facility for three days for for their training. Um, now I think they do everything online um, instead of. I think it was in Green, Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, all three days, we learned a lot of stuff. They showed us a lot of stuff. Not once mm -hmm. did they mention that in our Not class. Once. Not one time. No, and that's so important because um, you won't be driving anymore. Right. They, you they will, will not be driving anymore. They will terminate you instantly. If you ride if the down the moves, road on an right, OOS, you will right. not drive anymore for FedEx or Lance. Even if the officer tells you to go. I mean, mm -hmm. most people wouldn't go with, you know, they're told their truck's out of service, but... There's instances where the officer said, yeah, just go on, just get, make sure you get it fixed. Mm -hmm. um, but then they check the That box. doesn't fly with the company. Mm -hmm. The company can get in trouble for that, and now you're a liability, and they're not going to keep you. Right. So, um, but that was our little experience with that, yeah. and uh, hopefully that helps somebody that's, uh, when you get pulled in these inspection mm -hmm. stations. Um, also, at the way stations, they can pull you into one of the bays and do a level three right. tune. It's the same yeah, we've, thing. Yeah, we've had that one as well. Yeah, they can pull you in anytime they want to, just randomly. Mm -hmm. um, but we are in Oregon now, mm -hmm. and we're yeah. um, about 15 miles outside of Portland. Right. So we decided uh, we're going to stay at this rest yeah. area tonight because... 
Portland's not good. Yeah, with the time through. of day, we'd be in rush hour. Yeah. Well, hours. <laughs> Yeah. It, would, it would take hours to get through Portland busy. right now. We're, we're not newbies. <laughs> we know. Yeah. This is not time. Four o'clock in the morning, I'll just breeze right through there. No problem. Um, and so we were only like 150 miles yeah. out from the position. So mm -hmm. we're, uh, but we're here at this wonderful rest area. The trees are huge. The dogs have a walking area. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to show you some pictures of that. And um, we are on to Washington. Yep. So we're going, going to drop off there yeah. and we will let you know where we're going from Washington. Yeah. We're very excited. So thanks for watching. There's something about the way that you say my name. Make me forget everything when you call me late. At night I remember you touching my body. Though you get to me deep where my heart is. Love me so good but I wish I was heartless.